All right, so one more video on fraction arithmetic. This time we're going to look at multiplication, right? Um, of the two, multiplication is actually a little bit easier than addition, right? Um, because when you're multiplying, there's no need to worry about common denominators or anything like this. It's simply a matter of multiplying across. So again, if I were going to give you a formula, it might look something like this. A over B multiplied by C over D. I'm just going to do A times C divided by B times D. Okay? That's the rule for multiplication. Um, I, guess, I guess maybe one, you know, some people tend to get these two rules mixed up, and maybe one of the reasons that you might tend to get them mixed up is that the, the denominator ends up the same in both cases, um, which is maybe yet another reason why you just shouldn't try to mem remember these formulas in the first place, right? Don't, don't rely on the formulas. Maybe I shouldn't even give them to you. Better to just think about what's going on, right? So think about doing something like, say, two-thirds times, I don't know, three-quarters, okay? Something like that. Uh, now, there's a few different ways that you can, you can do this, right? Um, let's, we could blindly apply the rule. So if we apply the rule, we can get 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. It's like this, 6 over 12, that's our answer, right? But that's an unnecessarily complicated fraction because 6 over 12, um, we know that this can reduce down to 1 half, right? And then you might be left wondering, like, oh, did I really, maybe I did more work than I needed to. Was there a way to save myself some trouble? Uh, and the answer is yes, right? You can reduce after like this if you want, but you can actually reduce ahead of time, right? You know that you're going to be combining these into a single fraction, okay? You know that you can reduce. You know that you can cancel factors, right? If things are factored out top and bottom, you can cancel them. And so when you see that there's a 3 here and a 3 here, oh, we can say 3, three over 3 is just 1 over 1, right? 2 over 4, 2 over 4 is the same as 1 over 2. So I can do, rather than doing 2 thirds times 3 quarters, I can just do 1 times a half, I get to my answer of 1 half, right? So we can, we can clean things up like that. Um, this certainly becomes relevant if you're if you're getting to the point where you're multiplying algebraic expressions, right? Um, you've got x squared over x plus 2, and you need to multiply by here we go, uh, x squared plus 4x plus 4 over x squared plus 3x, something like that. You can multiply it all out if you want, right? Multiply everything on the top by x squared. Multiply those two binomials on the bottom. Foil it out. Then think about simplifying, right? But once you've multiplied those things out, right, once you've got this like degree 4 polynomial up top, right, degree 3 on the bottom, those are going to be hard. It's going to be hard to see how to simplify, right? It's easier now. Well, things are already sort of factored. And so rather than multiplying first and then seeing if you can simplify. Factor first, see if you can cancel, then move on. Um, <clears throat> with the standard note of caution, you can only cancel things that have been factored out as common multiples, right? If you have the same multiple on the top that you do on the bottom, you can cancel them. If they are terms, right? Factors can be canceled, terms cannot. So there's, just because there's an x squared here and here, I can't cancel them out, right? That would be like if I had, you know, if I had, if I had, I don't know, 3 over 4, and I said, oh, well, 3 is 1 plus 2, and 4 is, is, is 2 plus 2, right? I can't cancel the 2s and say that's a half, right? 3 quarters is not the same thing as a half, right? So I can't cancel things that are being added, right? If there's a plus sign in front of it, or behind it, you can't cancel, right? Um, on the other hand, if I had something like 6 eighths, right, and I said, oh, well, that's 3 
times 2 over, over 4 times 2. And I said, okay, now that 2, right, if it's being multiplied, same thing top and bottom was multiplying, then I can cancel. So what I have to do in something like this is the first thing I have to do is say, okay, can I factor? And I can. So x squared. Um, so maybe what we do, we can combine them if you like, but rather than multiplying through, think about factoring. This is the square of x plus 2, right? On the bottom, x plus 2, and then I have x times x plus 3 when I factor that. And, and so then I look to see what, what is some of the common stuff that I can take out from the top and the bottom. Uh, both the top and the bottom have an x, and they both have an x plus 2, right? So I can do x times x plus 2, x times x plus 2, and then write down everything that's left over. There's another x and another x plus 2 on the top, and on the bottom, there's an x plus 3, right? So I can, I can do that. And then realize that, yes, these, these x's, these can be cancelled. Those x plus 2's, those can be cancelled because I'm multiplying, right? And then I've got my simplified answer. x, x plus 2 over x plus 3, okay? One more fraction video before we wrap. Um, we do have to talk about division because division, it's not quite the same as, you know, subtraction. Once you understand addition, you understand subtraction. They're basically the same thing. Division adds in one further wrinkle, so we should address that in a separate video.